welcome to MKITS Online. I'm so glad to see you guys. You must tune in every week because we are doing some awesome experiments. See you every Sunday. Hi guys, so are you ready for the experiment? This is what you will need. An empty bottle with its lid, a measuring cup, syrup, dishwashing liquid, make sure you take the blue ones, water that's been colored green with green food coloring, oil and surgical alcohol that's been colored red with red food coloring. Before this experiment, measure how many millimeters of liquid the empty bottle can hold and divide it by five. This is how many milliliters of each type of liquid you will add during the experiment. I simply measured it in advance and now know exactly how much of each I'm going to put in. For example, you might use half a cup of each of the liquids or maybe 50 milliliters of each. If you are struggling, ask an adult to help. Start by pouring the syrup into the bottle. You'll notice that I've already done this. Next, we are going to take the blue dishwashing liquid and add it. Very important, when you add the dishwashing liquid, make sure you do it slowly and you pour it against the side of the bottle, like I'm doing now. After the dishwashing liquid, we're going to pour in the green water. The oil is next. Last but not least, we're going to take the red surgical alcohol now this is very important friends once you've done this Slowly tilt your bottle back up. Then add the cap and seal it tightly. And what do you know? We have a rainbow in a bottle. In today's experiment, we made a rainbow in a bottle. We took five liquids that are different densities and created a rainbow. The rainbow is a reminder of one of the most popular stories in the Bible. The story ends with a rainbow, a promise from God that He will never flood the earth again. That story begins with a man named Noah, who, who himself had an experiment in faith. Let's listen to the story. Let's read from Genesis 6. This is the story of Noah. Noah was a good man, a man of integrity in his community. Noah walked with God. He also had three sons. 
As far as God was concerned, the earth had become a sewer. There was violence everywhere. God took one look and saw how bad it was. Everyone corrupt and corrupting. Life itself corrupt to the core. God said to Noah, it's all over. It's the end of the human race. The violence is everywhere. I'm making a clean sweep. Build yourself a ship from teak wood. Make rooms in it, coated with pitch inside and out. Make it 450 feet long, 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. Build a roof for it and put in a window 18 inches from the top. Put in a door on the side of the ship and make three decks, lower, middle and upper. I'm going to bring a flood on the earth that will destroy everything alive under heaven. Total destruction. But I'm going to establish a covenant with you. You'll board the ships and your sons, your wife and your son's wives will come on board with you. You're also to take two of each living creature, a male and a female, on board the ship to preserve their lives with you. Two of every species of bird, mammal and reptile. Two of everything so as to preserve their lives along with yours. Also get all the food you'll need and store it up for you and them. Noah did everything God commanded him to do. The world that God made rebelled against Him. The people were so, so sinful that God regretted that He ever made people. But among these people was a man named Noah. Noah was a good man who loved the Lord. God decided that He would save Noah and his family to start over. God then asked Noah to do something that took quite a lot of faith. He asked Noah to give up years of his life to build an ark a giant boat that could hold his family and two of each animal. It took a lot of faith from Noah to build this boat because he had never seen such a big boat and he had never experienced a flood. So just like a scientist, Noah made a hypothesis. He believed that he would need to build the ark and that God would send rain, just like God said. He also believed that God would save his family. Noah's faith was rewarded. God did save him and his family. And he also gave them a wonderful sign to remember how faithful he is to those who love him. He gives them a rainbow. That's very special, isn't it? Most science experiments don't take very long to do. The experiment we did only took a couple of minutes and the other experiments we will do in this series will also only take a couple of minutes. But Noah? Noah's whole life was an experiment in faith. Noah remained faithful to God when the rest of the world was lost in sin. Noah devoted years of his life building a boat to save him from something that he had never experienced before. Noah had to have incredible faith to do these things. And this makes Noah one of the great heroes of the Bible. God invites us to have faith like Noah. We can trust his leadership and obey him no matter what it costs and no matter how long it takes. God does not always ask us to give up years of our life as He did Noah, but every day God's, uh, God asks us to do as He asks. Are you ready to take a step in faith and trust God? Remember, the Holy Spirit will always help us. When you look at a rainbow, remember the story of Noah. God will also remain faithful in your life. I don't 
magic words to sing I don't even need the perfect gift to bring Walking with you Jesus, you are my true friend Talking with you Jesus, makes sense of everything I want to sing, sing, sing I want to jump, jump, jump I want to shout it out Shout it out I want to laugh, laugh, laugh I want to dance, dance, dance Life with you is what it's all about I want to sing, sing I want to jump, jump, jump I want to shout it out Shout it out I want to laugh, laugh, laugh I want to dance, dance, dance Life with you is what it's all about What it's all about Okay, friends, so let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you love us. Thank you, Jesus, that we could love other people. And thank you that we could learn from your word how to do life every single day, that we could walk and follow in your footsteps. In Jesus' name, amen.